guys. Hey guys, welcome to IG Live. And um, it's going to be really good, and I know I say it every time, but it is going to be because you guys have sent us outfits and clothing items that you wanted to see on, you wanted to talk about them, you wanted to see how they would fit. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do that, but we're going to frame everything in terms of the Tibby Dictionary. And the TV dictionary is something that has been created now over the course of a year. We've been feeding out these kind of style, I hate to call them rules, but they are rules and actually like you're not allowed to break them. But we've created these rules over the course of a year. And it's not like we were holding out on you and waiting to like, you know, feed them out to you. It was more that as we were going through this process of wearing the clothing, talking about the clothing, it helped us articulate in our mind what these rules should be and put them into writing so that we can all help each other figure out ways to um, really express our style every day. So what we're going to do today is we're going to look at the items that you guys asked to see on, but then we're going to talk about how they fit within the context of the rules. And so what I want to point out now is on April 27th, that'll be our anniversary of having done these lives for one full year, 52 weeks of lives, which is crazy. Um, so, but over that time, we've had these rules. And what De Dion and I were talking about today is the rules don't apply just to one outfit, right? So if there's big slim skin, I don't wake up and think, I'm gonna be big slim skin, and then tomorrow I'll be like CMC, Gel yes. Modern Classic. What it is, is when you have the rules, they all apply all the time whether it is CMC, whether it's Big Slim Skin, whether it's a skin sandwich, um, all rule of three, one, 10 or nine, all of that, it applies all the time. So with each of the outfits that we come out in, we're going to talk about how it checks off all of the boxes. Okay? Perfect. Okay, so a couple of questions we had. Um, this actually answers a few questions here. So the um, we had a question from a someone who wrote in yesterday that was talking about the silk bias dress, but also someone wrote in about what to wear when you're running late. I love to wear a silk bias dress as like an alternate for a skirt, so I love to layer. So basically I'm wearing the applique cotton sweater, just layered on top with my red larkins. The red larkins aren't in yet, but they are incoming soon on the website. But um, what I like about this is that I feel like I'm in an outfit, I'm comfortable, and I'm also in light layers for summertime. I'm always cold in the, um, when I'm indoors and the AC is going, so I like to have a nice cotton sweater to either put on my shoulders and whatnot. Also, I'm gonna show a couple of different ways that I can use this bias dress to throw things on when I'm running late, which, you know, actually happens quite often. So, um, I'm gonna actually slip on the other top option and I'll have Amy come back. Okay. All right, so, uh, well actually, next we have Hannah. And Hannah is wearing the new um, four-ply silk in the um, balloon pant. And she is clearly a size zero, zero. or XXS. And, um, and she's making it work with a four, but not telling you that you have to wear a four either. So, yeah. I'll let you talk about it all the way if you want to take your mask off. Right, that's, um, that's true. So, sorry, I just gonna take off my mask. So, this is size four, but I, you know, as somebody, right, some of you know that I like wear a house swatch. So, I just, you know, can wear a higher up with belt, but I also like just, you know, just be relaxed. Can you see me? I'm really gonna go very far away. Yeah, yeah and then I, I like to be all relaxed, so I just, you know, take it off my like uh, sweater, and you know, has the bag open here, so I can just wear a very just comfortable way. But at the same time, Dion told me, why don't you try our beautiful technique here, so what I can could do, you know, this. This one, right, Dion? Yeah, you're just gonna okay. take it and you're gonna like, it. hook it over. And then I can hook it over here, because I can do this because I'm wearing like almost two sizes bigger than my size, so that you know, I can wear like high. But you still have a little bit skin shows at the back, which I feel more comfortable here. Yeah. So, so Hannah, if you yeah. were buying these pants, knowing your style, is this the size that you would buy or would you? 
by your proper size. Uh, I also like using my bear. Yeah. So I think I would buy one size bigger actually, yeah. not my size. I so you buy like a size being, two? Exactly. So I prefer being a little bit more relaxed here. Yeah. So that I don't really focus on my waist, how it like something. Yeah. Just I prefer being very natural, just go, you know, with throw and then whatever. And then one thing that I'm always having hard time with the length, but this one especially has elastic bottoms, I just roll up. It's easy to roll up. It's so easy to roll up, so. Yeah, because when like the that. pants don't have elastic at the bottom and they're silk, you can't really roll it up. It just really Yeah, unravels. kind of hard, I have to type, but we have another technique, we can do the elastic. You know, yeah, just roll yeah. up, so that's how you usually wear So in the world of the rules, <laughs> yeah. um, in, the world, in the world of the rules here, in one ton or none, you're none. You're not wearing any color, right? You're wearing shades of. Yeah. So you're none. You are chill modern classic, for sure. You've got the modernity of the neckline here and of the cutout. There's something very classic, of course, about the colors and the silk. And then um, it's chill. Yeah. I mean, obviously, duh. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, great. Thanks. Okay, all right. So. Back to the slip dress, this is one way that I would wear it if I were on vacation somewhere and I just wanted an easy outfit. And I knew I'd be out all day and wanted to feel casual and then I know that I could shed a layer and go to dinner. So I'm wearing the Poisson um, camp shirt, which I've shown you before in the other colorway. This is the green and orange colorway. It's really fun and sporty. You can tie it up, you can make it, you can do a lot with it. I also like layering it with the matching bralette sometimes. But here with the silk bias dress, it makes it really sporty for daytime paired back to the Byron sandals. So right now, I'm, you know, classic, modern, and chill, you know? But I'm also in rule of three as well. I'm, with the print and the gold, I'm not gonna wear any accessories. I might do a smaller, delicate earring, but for the most part, I'm not going to do that. Um, and then also, just to show you the bias dress on its own, this camp shirt is a size small and the dress is actually a four. And then also if I wanted to throw it on during the work with the blazer, I'll show you what I have here. So I think a lot of people um, don't understand the weight of the railroad denim. I think of the railroad denim as a replacement to your denim jacket, but it's a little bit lighter than that. So it adds a nice dose of structure paired back to the sandals. Like, I, could wear, I work in a fashion office, so I could wear this during the work week and feel really chill and chic. But it's also nice because if you were wearing a more closed-in shoe, you could wear this to work and then change into a flat sandal in the daytime. So again, this is a Liam blazer, but it's nice and structured. It's got that beautiful railroad stripe. And then you have the two options for button over detail. So that's another way to wear something when you're just running out of the house. The bias slip dress, and even the bias slip skirt, which I'm gonna throw on next, it's just a really great hero piece for those of you who have busy lives. And I do think too, someone had DM'd me and they said they were trying to decide on the Byron sandal between the gold, the black, and the white. And I think this is a good example where the gold is really giving the whole outfit something because you've got the smooth white texture in the dress, obviously. And then here, the, it's a stripe, but it's really, really subtle. So the gold is really adding something without like I'm, it's certainly not crazy, but I would do the gold, or even if I were doing the Bayron sandal, the bright red pattern, or the black that pattern, like too. that shine. Because really, you know, we talk a lot about mixing colors, but uh, mixing all those different textures is really, really key to having a very elevated look as well. Also, I know there are a lot of women who write in about shoe options that uh, can't really wear a heel for whatever reason, whether it's a foot problem or just general comfort. If you're going to any summer events, the gold is really nice because it does add something that you wouldn't get in the white or the black. The fresh white is also pretty, but I think the gold takes the sporty soul down a little bit too. Yeah, the gold has like that mix of quirk all in one. For sure. Yeah. Um, okay, so I had two DMs this weekend as well about the bubble skirt and asking about the sizing here. So what I want to explain, we did that whole episode a while ago on sizing. And what we said is that when you are looking to see what size you should be wearing in Tibby, we do have a sizing grid on the website. And that grid tells you 
what your body measurements are and how that corresponds to a size. So for example, size four, the body measurements I think for the waist are like between 25 and a half and 27 inches. I think it's like that. So if you know that, then you look at the size four skirt here. And what the size four skirt description says is measurements taken from a size four, waist 28. So it's not telling you to wear a, uh, that if you have a 28 inch waist to wear uh, that skirt, what it's telling you is that if you are a size four, this skirt measurement has a 28 inch waist and that waist will fit you. So I'm gonna give you an example. I have exactly a 27 inch waist, okay? And so when you're wearing a skirt like this that is designed to hit right at the waist, and by waist we mean when you put your hands like that, where do they naturally fall? If you know, if someone's angry and you're putting your hands on your hip, you don't go like this, right? You, where do your hands normally fall? So this is your waist point. So for me, that waist point is 27 inches. This skirt is a size four. So it is 28 inches is the circumference of the waistband on the skirt. So what that does is it's giving someone who is a size four a nice amount of wiggle room so that if you want to eat whatever, you know, you've got a little bit of room, right? So you can see that this has one inch in it, which is correct, okay? So when you've got styles that do have fitted points on them, like if you see a pant that has a really fitted leg on it, that's where you really want to look at like what's that that measurement there on the thigh you know where are the key points that are going to be the pressure points for you then all that said and done there are little tricks and hacks that you can do to the skirt one hack that i have for this skirt is i like to wear it longer sometimes so this length is great i like this proportion and chilled out with a big sweatshirt but if I do want to wear it longer, one of my little hacks is you can take um, a safety pin here and I put a rubber band in between it here and then I can attach the safety pin on the other side. And so this way, if I want to wear the skirt a little bit longer, I can. And don't like get all upset because you got this going on here because it's covered up under the shirt. And if anyone's wearing things like commando or Spanx, you know that like if someone saw you naked, they'd be like, what the hell are you wearing? So we all do like little secret things here that are just fine if it makes the item work for you. And it does. If I want a longer length, this is a good option. Just like don't lift up my sweatshirt. Okay, so you've got options there, and some of you did write to me that you did buy the four, but that maybe your waist is closer to a 28 and you're worried about eating your dinner. Bring the little safety pen and the rubber band um, with you because we all like food, and I'm not suggesting that you don't eat. Okay, all right, Hannah. So, uh, Jennifer, the only told me somebody asked about someone like my height, how to buy for it in this jogger pants. So uh, I actually, what I wear is size small, uh, as we uh, have the sample size. But it's a little bit on me, but I still can you know, wear this in a relaxed way again. Uh, so, you know, like my way is always growing up, but it's naturally here. But at the same time, I actually don't mind uh, just put it down and then open up just go relaxed way. So, you know, maybe I might change to something with a like, big sneaker or something, but you know, now it's still okay. It doesn't bother me. It's not touching the ground. So I'm like happy about wearing this. I have a question yeah. about that sweater too. Yeah. So that's the size small you're wearing. This is. And you'd small. probably take the size small, right? I really like the always. So I like always relax and be, you know, that's how I usually yeah. wear, so. And yeah. if you notice, it's still cropped on her. So someone who wrote in about the length <laughs> of the sweater, this is the Intarsia fish sweater, and it's hitting where it should hit. If she's wearing a mid or low rise pant, she's fine. Um, but you know, it's just one of those things that uh, a lot of people want to ask about just to see how they, how they can take the crop style because our crop is not going to be an ultra cropped top it's still going to be pragmatic enough to be worn with like a 
you know, a mid-rise pant. Right. And I like these a little bit baggy. I think it's really cheap. Yeah, I, you know, I think you should not worry about so much how full these look yeah. like. You know, just when you wear with confidence, I think it's, it's just go with that. I think that's yeah. how we can be just as ourselves. Yeah, because yeah. sometimes I'll wear a size two in something, and sometimes wear a six or an eight, depending on where I want it to hang on my body. So I think it's super important to kind of, you know, once you try things on, see how if you feel, how you feel in it, rather than, you know, making yourself um, only take one size. Because sometimes the things in my size, I, I feel very basic in. So sometimes yeah. I like to wear some things exactly. a bit bigger. Yeah, so I, even for men's size, I sometimes use such large. Yeah. So they just wear more. Like so two. she's wearing a small, and then that's a, also a small. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. And someone asked about the bias slip skirt. I'm wearing it here with the linen cutout sweater and wearing one of the old fundamentals camisoles, which is actually on our online outlet. If you're basically building out wardrobe essentials, definitely add this one to cart. It's a great price right now. It's just our standard camisole, so I have a nice little color contrast going on. Um, but yeah, this is one wearing that I would wear the bias slip skirt with back with my gold sandals, which seem to kind of work with everything if you're trying to make decisions. I think we have one sweater left yes, in Georgia. Yes, but you can, there's two, I think. If you, I think they sold one. You sold one? So there's, there is one of these left if you DM Tibby underscore archive, you can reach out to Hayes or Laura and they can get you one of the last ones of these. Oh, thank you, Rain. And um, yeah, this is one way I would wear it, especially for transitional weather. This is something that I could wear in New York today. I don't know about the sandals because it will get colder at night, but this is one way I'll wear it. And then I'm I wore those sandals today. You did? The hundred is like 69, you might as well own it. I, I have sandals in 80 degree, like 69, I, my feet are so cold, I'm anemic. <laughs> <laughs> this is cute. You can wear color, yeah. I would wear socks with these sandals, right? Oh, totally. For sure. And also, we have some really great bags on the website. Um, this one is actually oddly a Mary Poppins bag because I can fit quite a bit in it. I usually fit my water bottle. Um, can't do my iPad, but I can do all of my essentials for work, which is usually like copious amounts of skincare. Um, but it's just a really great colors that work with a lot. You've got the blue, you've got the green, you've got the yellow. It's just really chic. And also, you can also crunch it up and make it look really, you know, fun for a daytime bag. Cool. Okay, so um, someone wrote in and asked to see the blue and white striped shirts. And you know what's funny is that um, and a blue and white striped shirt, like it seems like it should be like the ultimate basic that literally goes with everything. But uh, when the blue is a little more saturated like this, and when the stripes are a little bit wider, it does kind of classify a little bit more into the world of a print. And I like to think, you know, you need to apply the print notions to it where we said that, you know, when you're wearing a print, there were the eggs pigs so you want to either mess it with mess it up with something icky uh, you want to have it maybe worn with something glossy or um, something um, really sharp and angular right so when we did this shirt itself one of the things we wanted to do was put those elements in the shirt and that's why you have this cord here and that is giving it like this angular structural piece to it right so giving it a little bit of structure takes it out of looking too classic. Um, the other thing to pay attention to is things with white in them don't necessarily go with white, and in fact, they often don't. So when I tried this top on with the white nylon cargo pants, which seemingly go with everything, right? I love them. I felt really basic, and it, I just, I felt like I should be having like a white Lexus and just driving around all day, I don't know what I would be doing in it, but that's where I belonged when I had on the white pants. So I think what you want to do is keep it a little more modern. So I'm wearing it with the lower rise bell curve jean. I know that this is sold out pretty much everywhere, guys, but the sales team told me that Pamela Robbins has uh, some of these left. And Pamela Robbins is in Scarsdale, and they do have a website, and you can buy them there and get the, um, the last ones. So I think with the curve and the denim makes the blue and white feel very sharp and not at all classic. And I'm gonna show you here too, like even you can see like, if I take a white bag and mix it with this, 
it doesn't feel as interesting to me, okay? Like it's, you guys, like don't get me wrong, like it's pretty and it works, but one of the reasons why we do these style sessions is if you all just needed to know about pretty and what works, and like there's a hundred magazines that can tell you that, right? I mean, it doesn't take a style genius to figure that out. But when you wanna find out what are, what are those extra things that like when you see someone and you're like, damn, how, like what is it that they did that makes that outfit so next level? It's knowing these little rules. So this is nice. This is an outfit. I live in Greenwich, Connecticut. I see this outfit a lot. Blue my shirt, you know, like you see it a lot. So the idea is this is where you can really mix things with the color that just take it to a next level. So now by just mixing this with the blue python, uh, no, water snake bag here, all of a sudden now I've got on all these shades of blue. And so the outfit is just infinitely more interesting but I didn't try too hard. I didn't do anything crazy to like level up, but this makes it level up. So, see? See? Okay. That's nice, right? Yes. So I'm also wearing the bias skirt here, back to the fall Terry open back sweatshirt. This is in the cream colorway. I actually have it layered with the tank top. Because I know a lot of people are always asking about if you have to wear this bare underneath, and the answer is no. But I also would probably wear this bear if I were going somewhere in high summer weather. And then I've got the red larkins on again that are coming soon. Um, but I really like to take sweatshirts and pair it back to the silk bias so it doesn't feel as dressed up and it really works for daytime. So this bag actually, so I have a very troubled relationship with crossbody bags because when I'm out all day, a crossbody bag does really need daytime to me. But I do have a fun hack for that. I actually like to take the strap and I like to tuck it in since you've got this nice clasp. So you fold it once and then twice again. You clasp the bag. And then I like to hold it like this. That way it just looks really chic. It did not close. Let's try that again. But this really works if you have like a magnet enclosure or something that can zip halfway. But that just makes it look a little cooler so I can hold it here with my hands rather than having it on my shoulder, which you know, looks very day. Fun um, details here is you have the Metro card holder, which I absolutely love. And then just have a lot of storage here. Nice organization. You can throw your, eye, your phone in here, wallet in here, it's great. And also the fresh white is really nice for elevating a lot of outfits, which is something I really appreciate, especially, you know, in between seasons, I end up wearing like a sea of black and navy. So it's really nice to have a fresh pop, here and sometimes I'll wear this open back sweatshirt with the new sculpted sweatpants in the ivory color and they actually it's a good color match and then I'll do like a white shoe and a black bag so there's a lot you can do with head to toe white and cream I also love head to toe cream with red as well I think it's really chic as well and yes it is a leather bag you have this in ostrich as well on the website too but it's just it's beautiful also Another bag I really love that kind of can, it's really good for travel, it's great for day to night, is this chain baby, that's not the baby bag actually, it's the, the Cleant bag. So it's got a magnetic enclosure here, and it's just a cute little mini bag that you can use with or without the chain. I like the chain for daytime, and then I also like to tuck in or completely remove the chain, which it does come off completely, and just hold it here because they still made this to fit the largest iPhone size, so it's deceptively big. And yes, sweatshirt's a size small, skirt is a size smaller four, and the bag can fit the large iPhone. Okay, so this is the other shirt in the blue and white stripe. And so what I want to talk to you now is like texture elements and that uh, cork balance, right? So you can see on here like I've got the whole chill modern classic thing going on. We've got our colors mixed right. We've got big slim skin, you know, like I got some skin. This is nice, like roomy here and right. We've got all our bases covered. So what I want to show you is when I'm wearing uh, black leather, which is a little bit more masculine by nature, right? And then I'm wearing a men's shirting here. For me, what I like to do then in terms of that mix of the quirk is I'm mixing it now with a shoe that is a little more feminine and lighter.
and that's what gives me balance here. So when I'm wearing all this black leather, I'm probably not going to wear this shoe with it. If I was wearing like a big sweatshirt and socks and doing like the full like bodega run chill thing, I would. But going to the office, the black leather on the black leather feels a little like too much leathery. I don't know, too much leather and too masculine with the masculinity here. So what is happening is a lot of people get confused about this concept of quirk because quirk doesn't have to mean super ironic or super masculine. It's more the act of mixing things together that intuitively don't necessarily go together. So wearing the leather pant here, then really lightening it up with a single sole shoe here and the more delicate straps is giving it a really good balance. And the other thing here too is when your shirt has the white in it like this does, um, I'm not inclined to go with the white shoe either. If I was wearing a big gray sweater here, I would absolutely do the white. But somehow, um, you know how Dion and I are about matching your shoes to your top? This is too matchy-matchy right here with the closed toe, too matchy-matchy. But if I had on a gray t-shirt or something, I would totally own this. And then, I think for me, again, for terms of like next leveling up, this is where I would do a plaid bag. And so the irony again, mixing your plaids with the stripes feels really interesting. And I just want to show, this is that other detail that we showed the last time um, when I wore this shirt, is you can also just tie it up and do some interesting things with this style, it's really fun. Okay, all right. Oh, this looks so, so good, Dion. We got someone who wrote in who was talking about these beautiful vintage cotton shorts. So a little bit about these shorts. They are the exact same silhouette as your Stella pants, just chopped off, and they're this lovely vintage cotton that come in green, white, and black. Well, her question was that she bought all three colors, which, bravo, they're amazing. Uh, but she also was wanting to know what we could style it back to that wasn't just the body suits. So she wanted things that weren't as fitted here. So this is the Eco Poplin top with the nice smock sleeves. This one is actually a pairing for the bubble skirt, but also Amy decided, and the design team also decided to make this longer so that it wasn't just a crop top skirt moment and can be worn with other pants. So here I have it back to my red Larkins for a little off take on complimentary colors. I can have this tucked or untucked, but this is a really chic daytime look for on vacation because it's just so easy, comfortable, and I love these colors together. So that's one option here. Let me just show you a couple more options too. So I also have on the camisole that I was wearing before, just for an easy, it's an easy vacation look here. So this is that cami that I was wearing underneath the navy sweater. So I could wear this here. This camisole is from the online outlet. Um, and the top and the pants are both sample size. So they're four or a small. Um, and that's one option to wear back to the red sandals. And that's another good look to wear on vacation. Also, if I want to take this and make it a little bit more evening, I can actually take this chalky drape top. A lot of you guys have this one. And I can actually throw this on with this color and it just makes for a really chic pairing. So this stone color is like a new neutral for us. So if I threw this on and did an earring and pulled my hair back with the flat sandal, that's another way I can wear this on vacation. I love this top. If you can't find your size in this online, there are some, I believe, I think our online out that might still have some, and our boutique as well. But it's just a really beautiful, not the online outlet, just our Tibby outlet, which is Tibby underscore archive might have some left in the Chucky Drape. And then also our flagship store on Wooster Street could have it too. So someone's asking, what am I wearing under the tank? Well, right now, nothing. But normally, I like to do just like a nice commando stick on, or I'll do a strapless bra. Um, I'm going to actually show you a couple more options with these shorts while Amy comes back. OK. So I just wanted to show you guys now a little bit of a travel look. And you asked to see the new, what's the name of these? The vintage cotton. The vintage cotton, uh, this is a vintage cotton in the crispy nylon jogger body, okay? So we love it, it is so good, and now it is in this lightweight cotton for summer. So it's that body that, I mean, it's so good, right? It's got the little side zippers here, and it's, um, 
It's perfect. Really, really good. So what I'm showing you is travel wear. And this is one where um, some of you, you want to try new things, but you really are so worried about catching shit from your friends. And one of the most often things that I hear you guys worried about is the notion of wearing just socks with shoes. So these are baby steps, right? Like for sure, I think you can get away with this going to the airport. You guys can really try this. And when you're going someplace new, it's a really good time to push yourself on items that you normally would be a little, um, you know, a little more tepid about wearing. So also wear them this way around the house. And when you realize the functionality of wearing a sock with a shoe like this, when it is a little bit cold out and your feet are warm, you, it just really becomes really simple and easy to do. And so when you're wearing this, uh, this cotton has a drier hand on it on the pant, then you've got the sweatshirt. So it really is nice mixing in something kind of glossy and shiny here. And you can even uh, actually put things in the pocket, okay? Like one small key. Um, so those Bayron slides are great. And then like this is where I would want to wear a little bit of color. So I would mix it in with the Papa bag and this does fit my iPad and everything. So it is nice to have that little bit of color or I could try this back. Can you hand me that? If you guys have been following my Instagram, we have been obsessed eating Pringles all week and we are not sponsored, but we just eat a lot of really bad food around here. And I'm not gonna lie, we if we ever do get sponsored, it's likely to be by Pringles and definitely not from an avocado company or something. No avocado toast in this office. Um, Wait, we'd like Dr. Pepper too. Well, I mean, you can have, I eat avocado. You can, but. Not here anymore. If yeah. you had to choose, would you choose Pringles or avocados? Pringles. Um, yeah, I would choose Pringles. Right. Yes, so. I would choose a Pringle. <laughs> Just saying. So another option on vacation, I know a lot of people really like the idea of doing a fun silk scarf as a DIY option. I'm wearing a tank underneath this just to show you. I mean, this is also something you could do with your bathing suit if you're not comfortable doing the bodysuit look. This is a really great way to capture the spirit of vacation without feeling you know, too exposed and bare. So I just have a really beautiful vintage silk scarf that you can just tie around, pull down. It's happening over there, but <laughs> you can tie it here, just like that. So if I were wearing my like one piece bathing suit, that can kind of give me a little bit of coverage with my shorts. That really feels kind of chic and fun. Also, you can even just make it just a nice little tube situation if you wanted to and tucked it in. That way it can just be a chic strapless top too. So you have a lot of options here on vacation. Yeah. So actually another option to wear with these shorts that I really like is just your classic shoulder pad tank top as well. This is from our fundamentals. It comes in white, black, and then the heather gray. And this is a great sporty look to do while you are traveling too. That's nice and lightweight for hot weather. I've really been appreciating these shoulder pad tanks because it just makes my life easier. We were in Savannah, Georgia last week and having this in my bag was so important. So just having it tucked in here and if I wanted to actually take this silk scarf that I was wearing before, I can still make this an accessory because like, you know, you could tuck this in and wear it as a belt even, if you wanted to. Because I'm not going to be wearing like a silk scarf on my handbag and it's just not who I am. But I feel like if I were wearing it like just here hanging, it would just be nice and chic. So you have a lot of options on vacation. Okay. So I know I'm gonna look a little crazy here for a minute, but I just wanna show a point. So some of you guys ask, how do I decide between the nylon pants? When do I do? the Stella pant versus the crispy nylon jogger versus the paper bag. So I want to show you what the Stella pant really, really works for. So what I love about the Stella pant is it has a tremendous amount of versatility. So if I were traveling somewhere and if I were going on the airplane, I would definitely be wearing a big sweatshirt, not this shirt with the socks and shoes, but I would be wearing the socks and the slides. I would wear a big sweatshirt 
And then for the Stella pair for functionality, I mean, I'm running around JFK, that would be the nastiest place to like wipe the floor with your pants. So I would just tuck it into the socks. And this is where, again, for any of you guys that are a little more self-conscious about, you know, if someone's gonna be giving you shade in their mind about what you're wearing, do this stuff in baby steps, but when you can like release that and just know that number one, Dion and I, totally, like, you're endorsed. We approve. Um, but number two, who cares if even we don't approve? Like, if it's functional and you like it, that is really what matters, okay? So what I love about this Stella is I could wear a sweatshirt right now and this pant, and I could run around JFK, and it would look great and appropriate. But then what's beautiful about the Stella, especially when you're traveling, is if I were going out to dinner, I can wear the top, and then I can wear the more uh, dressy, appropriate sandal, right? So now I've got on the sandal and the pant and then the top. Now, you guys have seen this top a lot on Dion, and Dion is a little bit bigger through the chest than me, and she has a little bit broader shoulders. So you can see that, you know, I said I had that 27 inch waist, but from here up, I'm really a size two. So that's why on someone with my measurements, it's hanging off, like it's deflated. It's not, it, like I would definitely size down in this. Like it's really bothering me. It keeps coming off the shoulder, but on Dion, this looks great. So if you have got this shape like me, size down in the top, unless you're digging this and then just do whatever. Um, but anyways, it's good. So the Stella is really super flexible in this way. And I, I'm going to answer two questions here because I am wearing a full-on jogger. So for me personally, if I'm wearing anything that has a lot of volume up top, I like to follow my um, big slump skin rule here. And so having this um, full-on jogger is just a little bit more chill for me when I'm wearing something with high volume, especially a high neckline. Because as Amy was saying before, I'm a lot bustier. So it's something that I have to really pay attention to because I can't have full and full or I just look like, you know, I just don't really look balanced here. So I actually am wearing the Red Larkins again because I love these, I ordered them for myself, they're great. But I'm also wearing the organic cotton twill shirt jacket. So someone also asked about that and in fact you can wear it with the nylon joggers and plot twist, yes, you can. I'm also wearing the, this is our cotton viscose halter in black. You know, this is one of my favorite tops. It's so cheap, but also this closed up looks really nice too. And you know, I don't think I've worn this one on live before, so I'm glad I'm showing this to you on someone that is a little bit bustier and has a broader shoulder. It still looks really chic because it does have that gather of the neckline, so it's not like pulling here. So I would also wear this solo and even play around with wearing this with my Morris loafer. And then open is great. But then also, if I'm just wearing something bare, especially on vacation, just wearing this and then my joggers, or even wearing like a bathing suit with these joggers and a red sandal is also really good. Cool. So they're both equally versatile. I own both. But when I have more volume up top, that, oh my god, it's like haunted <laughs> ASMR. <laughs> I'm going to have some Pringles in a second, too. <laughs> like, that's weird. That was like a deja vu. That was an extreme crunch. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, this is not my jacket, so don't get all like excited about it. But what I'm showing you with this is this is um, a jacket that I bought from Dries Van Noten Men years ago. I don't know, probably five years or so ago. And what I just wanted to show you is that the beauty of some of these fundamental pieces, um, some of these things that just really work to be the basis of your wardrobe is that those things that you bought on a whim that um, you know you kind of just fell in love with if anyone's been to the Dries store in Paris you know that like that store literally makes you fall in love with everything in it and so it's really nice like for something like this I think for a lot of people who know me they're not like oh Amy's gonna buy a big cowboy um, western style you know bomber jacket but when I wear it with the white nylon cargo pants, it really feels very much right in my, in my zone here. 
And I think, you know, when we talk about fashion and being a creative pragmatist, I always want to stress that being a creative pragmatist does not mean that you're a hardcore minimalist or that you have your five easy pieces and then like that's all you wear. So it really is about allowing yourself to experiment and be creative, but still feel like yourself, always knowing what your identity is and what your through lines are. So for me, when I put this on, it's still chill modern classic. It's still the rule of one ton or none. I've, I've got none. Um, I've got big slim skin going on. This is actually kind of long and lean and then this nice big pant. So, you know, it's hitting all the marks here. And I really do encourage you to, uh, if you are women watching this, shop the men's department. And if you're men watching this, I love it that you're shopping what is like a traditional female line. Like these lines are very blurred right now. And I think that the clothing is just much more interesting that way. So shop where you want, experiment, try new things, um, but keep yourself grounded. And that's how you are going to make really good decisions that you won't regret later on and be angry that you spent money on something that you never wore. Look at shit. I'm sorry, I'm eating some crinkles. Um, again. Not sponsored, just hungry. So no one asked for these pants, but I'm showing you anyway. Um, this is the organic cotton twill shirt jacket back to the matching pants. Because a lot of people have asked me, you know, I have all the sculpted pants, why do I need another one? Uh, I'm just telling you that you do, because they're amazing. Also, these are a nice replacement denim. I wear this back to all of my fundamentals, tops, t-shirts, etc. And I have them unsnapped here, which really makes them very chill, and it looks like a different pant every time you wear it. So if you wear it unsnapped one time, snap another. Also, they're cotton, so they're good transitional pants to wear with tall boots, like tall skinny boots underneath. And also, for some of you who don't know this already, a lot of you who are new to our lives, we make all of these double snap pants so that you can cuff them. So if you are petite like Hannah, you can just cuff them here and then snap them and you have the exact same shape. Because you don't lose that sculpted, sculpted curve here. It's not sculpted, I'm gonna say. But yes, the sculpted curve stays the same, it's just shorter. So for those of you who are asking about if you can roll them up, you can. I mean, these are just fantastic. And also, you don't have to wear this head to toe. It also looks great with contrast because I'm actually wearing this same top underneath. So if you do like this jacket, it is quite versatile. I would even wear this over that slip dress as well. And then also, you know, with the bias skirt and this tank top too, and the red sandals also works. Cute. All right. So um, some of you sent in questions about what is the difference between the uh, file skirt that we have in Fundamentals versus the new bubble skirts that we've done. And so first of all, the biggest one is the fabrication, okay? The bubble skirts are in a cotton sateen, uh, an eco poplin, uh, oh, my brain came out. Anyways, a nice eco poplin friendly, uh, I mean, repetitive, you know, it's good to the earth, okay? So that's what those are. And they can go um, dressy, but I don't think it's, it's not like black tie material if you're wearing the skirt and a top. Um, it's a good, you know, beach wedding, um, but it's not a black tie formal event. Now, your file skirt can really go black tie and it can be quite casual. So I'm wearing the file skirt in a mid-casual way, okay? I'm wearing the black Fundamentals knit tank with it. And then the file is, it's like a heavy silk file here. It's really, really rich, good stuff. It's got the deep pleats. And then I'm wearing it with the delicate sandal here. I could also wear this with a t-shirt and one of the thicker tire sandals. And so this is a piece that like if I were going on vacation and I needed to really minimize my luggage and I was going to a black tie event, I would probably choose some fabulous over the top, like amazing top and a pair of heels. And that would be my black tie thing. Then if we had a great lunch or something to go to, this is what I would wear there. And then if we were walking around town, I'd wear a little beat up t-shirt and I'd tie it in the middle. And then I'd wear the little tire sandal. So this can go three places. It can definitely go to play. It's not totally play play. I mean, don't like get dirt all over and everything, but it can go three places. 
The bubble ones are beautiful and amazing, but I don't think they're black tie quality. Uh, I'm also going to, because the name is escaping me right now, but there is a Swedish style fashion-y woman, and she is always wearing this skirt. And I want to say she's a size 12, and really this skirt, um, anything that we do, I like to believe, goes across every single size range. But she, if you want some ideas on just a different body shape, her curves look really, really, really beautiful in this skirt, and she wears it a lot, and I just can't remember her name. But anyways, it's like you would think, you know, just like you think we're sponsored by Pringles, and we're not, you would think that we were sponsoring her as much as she wears it, so it's great. Um, okay, this is so damn good. Obsessed, right? Yeah. So this ah, is not so to good. torture anyone, but it just to remind you guys that we will be making a new brown lamb in a tropical wool later, and you can build this outfit if you missed out. Um, I really feel for all of you that did miss out on this Liam blazer uh, in the cashew suiting, but we have given you a second chance. So, I'm wearing the Eco Poplin bralette, I'm wearing the vintage cotton joggers that Amy was wearing in black but in the green colorway, back to my gold Byron sandals, and then my brown Liam. So, I just wanna talk about no color colors for a second, because this really, goes into one ton or none. This green to me is more of a neutral in this season. And we always have a seasonal no color color, like that um, dark mint that we had from the Cassius suiting from spring. So I can I don't consider this part of one ton or none, but the orange bralette is definitely one. But if I wanted to do time, you'll see when I do my head to toe bubble skirt. But if I were wearing the cotton viscose um, halter top with this look, then I would be no color because again, this is a neutral. This is that beautiful dark green. Oh, is the Liam sleeve cuffed and snapped? No, but I'm so glad you asked. So I've shown this detail in previous seasons, but there's no need to go back when I can do it right now. So you have four buttons here. I actually unbutton them, cuff them, and then button them back. This is for all of you that you know have shorter arms that are always wondering about the sleeve length of blazers. You can do that on pretty much all of our blazers that have the button detail here. Yeah, this is this up to mine now. I own it. <laughs> okay, so now I've got on the file skirt and I'm wearing it with the uh, peplum eco poplin top. And so again, if I were buying this top for me, um, I would size down, right? I've got this room in the back here, so I would size down. And so what I want to show you is how just because the skirt comes out here doesn't mean the top can't come out as well because it's still working off of those big slim skin proportions, right? So I've got big, I've got some slim areas, like it is coming in here, and you can see this line coming in right here, and then I've got skin going on everywhere. So what's really pretty sometimes is, you know, don't, please don't get caught up in things like, do I look wide through here? Just don't. Like, because even what's helping me is when I'm standing in front of the camera and looking at you guys, I'm seeing the proportions and the shapes that are being created by this look. And so this is, um, you know, the team makes fun of me a lot of times when I look at new designs on the body because I always squint my eyes and it's almost like I'm removing me from the picture because I just want to see like, what is the architectural shape that this is creating here? And so you can really um, you can really do a lot with the full skirt that maybe you intuitively would not have thought you could. And then it's just really pretty with a gold sandal. And with this, I would wear some big, great, amazing earrings. So. I love this. Yeah. This is really chic. And it's nice because it's hot weather. It makes sense. Perfect. Yeah. Do you have anything else after this to try on? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. It's more about it's more about color, but okay. this is my no color oh, situation. Right, then I'm gonna go do one switch real quick. So this is if I were doing none with this green. This is that railroad denim jacket again, the gold sandals, and then I'm wearing the raw white colorway of the cotton viscose halter top. So again, this is the best halter top ever. I've been wearing it as my underpinning to update all of my suiting, and it's just really chic. All of this feels so casual to me, but I could definitely play around with dressing this up if I wanted to do the railroad and then the um, orange bralette or even the sage green, I could wear this with a strappy sandal and that could be like a night out in LA look for me. But yeah.
Also, I really like this one with the skirt Amy was wearing just now because it is a nice lightweight version and if you did that with the gold Byron sandal, it would be really, really nice and weather appropriate. Also, try that scarf half with your full skirt too. That way you play with proportion with your big slump skin. But say you wanted to do a flat shoe that was closed in, having the bareness up top would really kind of balance all of that out. So here I'm wearing no color. So I'm wearing all no color colors and then my metallic, which, you know, it adds a nice pop, but it's still not really a color. So that's really nice. And so this whole outfit, if I wanted to wear this back to my red Larkins or my red Bayron sandals, I could do that there too. So what kind of bra works under the halter? I do a strapless bra. You can also do the, um, you know, cutlass if you want to do that. But, you know, personally, I think strapless bra is what's going to work the best. But when it's super hot outside, the last thing I want to do is put on something that's stick on. So I highly recommend if you are worried and you need that support, invest in a long line bra. I really like those and they make a lot of variations of those now, which could, you know, you won't be pulling and tugging all day, but you get the support you need. And they make them in really nice uh, materials these days too. Okay. So I hope what you guys are kind of seeing here with this try on is that, you know what, I hope that you feel like you're seeing a lot of this stuff through a new lens because what's, what's interesting is back in the day of old to be old world, old fashioned, pre-COVID, our spring collection would have been almost three times the size of what we created this year. And I think that besides being focused because it's a good thing for the environment and how much you're producing and everything, it's also probably a really good thing for you guys because what you're seeing is that all this stuff that you've maybe even bought already or you're seeing again and you're like, oh, yeah, I remember seeing that railroad crop jacket with the shorts back then and now I'm seeing it with the skirt and now I'm seeing it with the trouser pant. And each time it should be feeling new and fresh. I hope that you're not thinking, oh my God, don't bring out that freaking jacket again. Like, and I don't think you are. I do think it feels new and fresh. And so what I mean by that and how this applies to your closet is that just by having some simple things, you've got myriad ways of really mixing it up so that you feel new and fresh every day. And so, you know, I hate it when I see things sometimes with uh, stylists back in the day where they're like, I went in and I photographed, you know, 40 outfits and I look at like the outfits that they made for the client in the closet and like there's no overlap of the styles. And so what's really key is knowing that when you buy something like the railroad denim jacket, that it does go with the silk foul skirt and it does go with the joggers and it goes with the low rise denim and it goes with the stripes. And really being able to mix all this up. And by the way, it goes with the stuff that you're going to see in the spring 22 collection as well. Because all of this is like in our head and it is a contiguous wardrobe that is built up. Um, Cause you know, I, I want to be smart too about how we buy. This is really cute with the metal. I love it. Yeah, I mean like, I think I can totally put a can of Pringles. The so mini can of Pringles? Let's see. <laughs> okay. You know the key is to like make that sound when you catch it? And again, let me just tell you guys, I'm not shitting you. We're not getting paid by these guys. We really just love some good Pringles. <laughs> Look, that fits perfect. Oh my God. It's a Pringle carrier. You know, you put a soda in there as well. Oh my God. You totally could. Also, those, I used to hide um, Flaming Hot Cheetos in my cargo pockets too, so I totally get it. But in the package, though, right? Yeah, not not, not, those not you bear, can, but you can go bear. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. Cheeto dust would be so upsetting. Oh. So let's talk one ton of none with the orange colorway. So um, this is obviously one color we've got going on. And if I were wearing the gold sandals, it'd be just one. And then I've got the red sandal, that's ton. And also, if I wanted to throw on this orange top, then I'm really going full on ton of, ton of color. But what you don't want to do with orange, and this is something that is highly polarizing because only in America do we have this association with orange and black. So I'm just going to... Have a ring thing? Yeah, like nobody wants to look like David S. Pumpkins. Like you really want to just like 
Stay away from doing black. You want to do gray, you want to do ivory. You could even do a shade of blue to pair with the orange. And even that beautiful army green works. And you can even mix and match the colors of the sage bralette. And you can wear that here. Oh yeah, you know, a little fun take on complimentary colors. You know, that's if you want to go full on and do a ton of color. Um, and then, I'm actually going to show the white suits. It's going to be up next week. Go for it. Anything you guys want to talk about that um, while well, she's getting on that last suit? We had a really good time in Savannah, so I hope you guys followed me on my um, Instagram. But we had the most incredible group of people down there, and we were at SCAD for the week. And um, I'm going to do a whole story about it. I'll do a write up, but damn, you guys, that school SCAD is just oh, over the top amazing. And the students that we worked with were just. Um, incredible so it's it's really funny even elaine chang our president was saying that the guy who is a security guard at our office building he was like why do the tibby employees look so happy like why do they look so chill and relaxed and we just had the best time in savannah so i think all of us came back with um like just super happy and tired but you know like really really good tired and we were down there shooting the fall collection, and so we will let you guys know when we are going to premiere that. We'll probably do a fun party around it, and it'll be really good. And um, anyways, I wish that you guys had all been there with us, but you know, 450,000 followers, whatever, that'd be a little difficult. But it was a lot of fun. So I really encourage you, if you guys don't know about SCAD, if any of you students or potential students are watching, please check it out. I mean, I'm not going to lie, our design team was really jealous of those facilities there. So it was incredible. And I'm kind of jealous of those. Oh yeah. I'm not going to lie. This is oh, the best suit ever. God. I'm so excited. I want to wear this in LA when I visit my friends and I want to stunt a little bit. Um, I yeah, love this suit. Sit-ups. But it, what's really nice about this is if I did that halter top or even just a classic cami or even a one-piece bathing suit, I feel really appropriate for those really balmy, you know, summertime days. So this is the this is the cotton leisure suit. This is up on coming soon, but it actually might go live next week. So stay tuned and definitely put yourself on the list for that. So you've got a really beautiful drawstring detail. So they're really comfortable and easy. And then also it's a tuxedo style actually, which I really, really love. You have a couple of ways to button. Can button over like this. You've got two buttons here. Um, you also have a tie, so where you can actually tie on the inside and make it more of a classic wrap blazer. I like to do this too if I want to show off what I have on underneath, especially if you are doing like a bathing suit situation, which I also love. And, and I want to say, I want to say this this suit was born out of such a necessity that I had. And it really like culminated in a big trip that I had taken to Spain. But going from Ibiza to Mallorca, I just wanted something that had a little bit of polish to it, but all of the ease of what I love. And I mean, I love our suit jackets, but like they don't travel to, you're not wearing yeah. them in Ibiza, like get over yourself. So I'm not like, I'm not gonna tell you to do that, but this, is something that you would wear. You'll wear it over a bikini at the beach. You will wear it with the bikini top and the pants. Like it was when we created it, it just it hit every single need that I had as a creative pragmatist trying to dress even in places like Miami where I'm like, girl, I'm not gonna lose my mind just because I'm in Miami. I wanna retain some sense of self. Exactly. And this really, um, really lets you do that. So. so do you think that these pants fit identical to the Stella minus the drawstring or do you think that because like I also think they, they could go a little bit lower too if I weren't wearing the bralette I just have them hiked up because I'm wearing something like this. I mean they're definitely based on the Stella yeah. body and they've got the same length of rise as Stella but I think that because of the fabrication it's almost guys if you touch it it's like that Sea Island cotton that a really beautiful lightweight pajama would be made in mm -hmm. when it's like super luxe and amazing. And so what that means is that that fabric is going to drape a little bit more. So if you're used to wearing the Stella in the nylon, the nylon kind of stands up. Yeah. So it's like sometimes at the side you're like, whoa, you know, you're standing up. But this cotton has a lot more drape to it. 
And also, don't be afraid of it dragging the ground because you know it's being unbothered is the ultimate bluff. So just go for it. Seriously. I love that. Yeah. I love that. And there's always a washing machine. The washing machine, and then also the rubber band truck if you are concerned about it. Exactly. So um, guys, I hope that you like this. DM us if you have any questions because I know you will, and we always get lost. Um, and and we like that, and I love that. So don't stop. And um, and we'll keep going. Yeah. So onwards to another. So D2. That's true. And next week is the full summer deep dive, right? Yeah. So you're going to see everything. Yeah. Yes. It's good. All right, guys. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you.